In this video, we're going to learn about local and global variables in C. Whether a variable is local or global is going to affect where we can access the variable, which is called the variable scope, and when the variable exists, which is called the variable lifetime. We'll go over these differences and other ideas. So first, let's create a function called function1. The function will have a void return type, so the function is not going to return any value. Inside this function, let's declare a variable called local. We'll have int local is equal to 10. This will declare a variable called local that is of type int, and we've initialized it to the value 10. Now this type of variable is what's called a local variable. This variable is going to be local to this function. What that means is that the variable can only be accessed inside the function and its lifetime will only be the lifetime of the function. So if we try to access the local variable inside the function, that's going to work okay. We could have here printf and then local colon percent d to output an int backslash n to output a new line and then local. And then down here in main, we can call function one. And if we save, compile, and run our program, it's going to work fine. We get local 10. But if we try to access the local variable inside of main, it's not going to work. If we have here local is equal to 20, and we save, compile, and run our program, we get this error here. It says use of undeclared identifier local. What this error means is that there's no variable called local that can be accessed within the main function. This variable local has the scope of this function here. That means it can only be accessed within the function body of this function. Sometimes we call variables like this function scope variables. Now this would be the same if we had a function other than main. So for example, if we made another function here called function two and function two tried to access local, let's say function one calls function two. If we save our program and try to run it, we get the same error here, use of undeclared identifier local. So the variable local is local to function one, and that means it can only be used inside function one. Now there's also global variables, and global variables are variables that can be used across functions. So for example, up here, we could declare a global variable. So we'll have here, int global is equal to 50. And this will declare a global variable called global of type int, and it will initialize it to the value 50. We can now use this global variable in any function in our program. So for example, inside of function one, we could output the value of the global variable. We could have printf global colon percent d backslash n, and then here we'll output global. We could also access global in main. So here we could have printf global colon percent d backslash n, and again, we'll output global. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we get global 50 and global 50. And so we can access the global variable inside the main function and inside function one. We say that the global variable has the scope of the entire program because the variable can be accessed by any function in the program. We can also modify the global variable within any function as well. So for example, we could have global plus plus here inside of function one to increment global by one. Then inside the main function, we could also increment global by one. If we save, compile, and run the program, we now get global 51 and global 52. Now in general, we actually try not to use global variables because any function can modify a global variable, that makes it more difficult to understand what's happening in our code. Part of the idea with separating our code into different functions is that we're splitting up the functionality of our program so that we can think about each smaller piece individually. When we use global variables, we connect these pieces of code together again, making it harder to think about how our code is working. So a global variable has the lifetime of the entire program's execution what that means is that the variable is going to exist in memory so long as the program is executing. Importantly, the variable is going to take up space in memory so long as the program is executing. 
whereas a local variable will only exist when the function is executing. So when we call function one here, local is going to be created. It's going to be created in a place called the stack. Then when this function completes execution, that variable will no longer exist. So that's an important distinction for us to be aware of. Global variables will take up space in memory throughout the entire program's execution, whereas local variables will take up space in memory only when the function in which they reside is executing. Local variables will exist in a place in memory called the stack, whereas global variables will exist in a different part of memory called the data section. Now what happens if a global variable has the same name as a local variable? So for example, what if we had a global variable with the name x? So we'll have int x is equal to five. Then inside our function here, let's also declare a variable called x. We'll have int x is equal to, let's say 10. Then here we can output x. We could have printf and then x colon percent d backslash n and we'll output x. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we get here that x is 10. So what's happening here is that when a local variable and a global variable have the same name, the local variable will take precedence. So because there's a variable called x inside function one, that's going to be the variable that's used when we try to output x here. Now we're not required to initialize global variables, but if we're going to initialize a global variable, it has to be to a constant value. So for example, we can't have global here. We can't initialize X to global because global is not a constant value. If we try to save, compile, and run the program, we get an error here. It says initializer element is not a compile time constant. So let's set X back to a constant value like one. Now there's one more type of scope in C and that's block scope. So down here, in main, let's have an if statement. We'll have here, if x is equal to one. And this here is a block for the if statement. So if this condition is true, this block is going to execute. And what we could do in here is declare a variable called block. We could say int block is equal to 2000. Then we could output block. We could have printf block colon percent d backslash n and we'll put block. And if we save compile and run the program, we get block 2000. Now we can't actually access that block variable outside of that block. So here, if we tried to have block is equal to 5000, and we try to save compile and run the program, we're back to this error here, use of undeclared identifier block. So variables declared inside a block will only have the scope of that block. And that goes for any kind of block, whether it's an if statement block or a loop block or whatever. Now, if we have a multi-file C program, it's actually possible to share a global variable across different files. I posted a video covering this problem in this video's description. So this is the difference between local and global variables in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.